how do you know if you're meditating correctly? How do you know if you're doing it right and if you're progressing in your practice? That is perhaps the number one question that I get and the number one question that most beginners have. Am I meditating correctly? So stick with me until the end of this video for you to know how you can answer that question. Hi there, meditator. Welcome to episode 12 of Master Your Mind Daily, your daily source of inspiration for all things meditation, anxiety, and personal growth. My name is Giovanni Dinsman. I am the author of Practical Meditation and the creator of Live and There, the fifth most popular meditation blog on the planet. And I'm here to share insights, tools, guidance, inspiration about meditation every day. If you like this series of videos, I suggest you like and follow uh, the Live and There page on Facebook or in your social media, a favorite social media site, and you'll be receiving them daily in your feed. All right, so have, do you struggle with this question of am I meditating correctly? If yes, please write yes in the comments. And if no, please write no in the comments. So the first thing is sometimes I hear people saying, um, people who know a little bit about meditation but not too much, they say you cannot do it wrong. Don't worry. And while this has a positive effect of allowing you to not worry so much about the process, it is not correct to say that you cannot do it wrong. It's a little bit like going to the gym and the personal trainer saying, don't worry about technique, you cannot do this wrong. Just lift the weights however you want to, however feels natural for you. You know, that's, that would lead to a disaster. You can easily hurt yourself or at least you will not exercise in the way that is most efficacious, most helpful. And it's the same thing with meditation. Um, hundreds of different meditation techniques have been developed over the last 5,000 years by many wisdom traditions all over the world, by people who kind of did nothing but meditate and teach meditation. So. Of course, there is a technique to it. There is a way to do it. And, and so you can do it wrong or you can do it right. So the answer to this question is not to say, don't worry, you can never do this wrong. So when are you doing meditation wrong? You're doing meditation wrong if you get distracted and never come back. If you decide to focus on your breathing, you get distracted with thoughts and you just keep thinking thoughts and you don't come back to the breath, then obviously that is not meditation. That is just sitting with cross-legged and thinking. You are doing it wrong if you are criticizing yourself all the time because that disturbs the mind and a disturbed mind is gonna have a very hard time meditating. Right? Self-criticism, self-judgment will disturb the peace of mind and that is not conducive to a deep meditation session. So indulging in self-criticism is a wrong way to meditate. And a third wrong way to meditate is if you're constantly evaluating your practice, thinking, am I doing it right? Is it a little bit more like this or a little bit more like that? If I focus on my breath like this, the sensation is A. If I focus it like this, it's B. Which one is correct? Am I doing this right? Thinking like this all the time while you're meditating, that is not the right way to meditate. Because you're basically just thinking. You're not meditating. So, what is the right way then to practice meditation? Meditation in all its forms is an exercise in awareness. So if you're exercising your awareness according to the instructions of the meditation technique you're following, then you're doing it right. And the instructions will be different from style 
style. Some of them are more focus, um, concentration type of meditation. In these techniques, the instruction is to keep the mind focused on one object. Could be the breath, could be a mantra, could be a part of your body, a visualization, anything. To keep focus on this object moment after moment. And whenever the mind wanders, to bring it back. So if that's the type of meditation you're following, you are doing it right if you have the intention to keep your attention focused on the object. And that you notice when it's wandered and you bring it back. If you're doing this, you're doing it right. Don't think that you're doing it wrong because you're getting distracted. That is part of the practice. If you get distracted and you never notice it, and you just keep on thinking, well, then that's not meditation. But if you get distracted and come back, you're doing it right. A second type of meditation is open awareness type of practice. It's the mindfulness practice in Buddhism. It's some types of Zazen practice. It is the practice of inner silence in the yogic tradition. And instead of having an exclusive attention that is just on one object, it is an inclusive attention where you pay attention to anything that is arising in the present moment experience without choosing one object on top of the other. So how is it then to meditate correctly or incorrectly in this type of technique? Well, if you are noticing things arising, you're being aware of them, you're practicing it right. If you're not being aware of them, and you're just trying to hold on to one thing, or you're just getting distracted and you're unaware of what's happening, right? then that, that is part of the practice. But if you don't come back, then you're not practicing. And a third type of meditation is more advanced, and I like to call it a pure awareness practice, in which you sit and you're not trying to do anything with your attention. You're not focusing and you're not observing. You're just being. And practices like self-inquiry from the path of Vedanta and Rama Maharshi, uh, practices like the Dzogchen of Tibetan Buddhism, these are more kind of pure awareness practices. So in this type of practice, you are doing it right if you're just being there without trying to do anything special. And you're doing it wrong if you're trying to force your experience, to force your awareness to be like this or like that. So how, how do you know if you're doing meditation right or wrong depends on the meditation technique that you're following. And many people don't have clarity over how to meditate or which technique they're following. There's, they're simply following some YouTube videos or some apps and they don't really have clarity over the technique. And if that's the case for you, I would recommend that you try to understand a little bit more about what is meditation and how it works. And once you know the type of technique that you're practicing, to exercise your awareness according to those instructions as best as you can, without criticizing yourself, without over-evaluating your practice, without worrying too much and wanting to force things, that is the right way to meditate. And a second question that usually comes and is connected to this one is, how do I know if I'm making progress in my meditation. Now, this is something that is really hard to, to measure because it's very, very subjective. But, and it also depends on the goal that you have with meditation practice. If you started meditation because you want to improve your blood pressure, then you can say, well, if meditating every day um, is improving your blood pressure, then you're progressing in your practice, and if it's not, then you're not. If you are practicing meditation to become more calm and present, well, then if you're becoming more calm and present, meditation is working and progressing. And if not, then you need to look into it and maybe have the help of a meditation teacher. 
Um, now, if your goal is a little bit more more subtle, like I'm doing meditation because I want spiritual awakening or growth, then that's tougher to measure, right? But again, according to the um, according to what would mean to have a good meditation practice inside that tradition, inside that teaching, you can kind of see like, is my meditation working or do I need to fine tune something? But at the end of the day, if you're doing your meditation and after you feel more peaceful than before, more calm and present than before, then you're doing something right. And meditation is the type of thing that even if you can only do 10% of it, even if you're really bad at meditating and you really get distracted a lot, still, if you follow the practice to the best of your ability, without forcing yourself, but putting in some sincere effort, you will get many benefits. So for that, it's important that the practice is daily, that you have a strong daily practice. So that's what I had prepared for today. This is one of the most um, popular questions or doubts that new meditators have. So let me just summarize it in one minute. The most common doubt is, am I meditating correctly? And the answer to this is not saying you cannot do this wrong, so don't worry about it. Just like you wouldn't trust a personal trainer that says you cannot do weights wrong. Just, just do it. No, yes, you can do it wrong and it can be um, not effective and it can even be harmful if you do it wrong. But with meditation, it's unlikely to be harmful. So how do you know if you're doing it right or wrong? So if you simply get distracted and you never come back to your meditation technique, then that's not doing it right. Or if you're constantly over-evaluating your practice and doing thinking, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Is it more like this or is it more like this or is it more like this? That's not doing it right. And if you keep criticizing yourself for getting distracted, that's not doing it right. You're doing it right if you're following the meditation instructions and exercising your awareness gently in that manner with the best of your ability. And if you want a more structured approach to meditation, if you want my help as a teacher, if you want the presence of a community, if you want to have access to tools that you can learn online, video courses, guided meditations, etc., then I recommend you join my Limitless Life program so we can work more closely together. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you know of any other beginner meditators, please consider to share this video with them or tag them in in the comments. And if you want to keep receiving these videos, make sure you like and follow the Live and Air page. So once again, thank you for watching. Happy growing.